Would you like to learn the applications of deep neural networks with Keras and Python? I placed my complete course from Washington University on YouTube, GitHub, and even a book. It's all free. Deep neural networks are fantastic because they can accept input and produce output in just about any format. They can take input in tabular data, images, text, and even audio. They then process this information, perform all sorts of mathematical magic, and output numbers, images, words, and even audio. In my class, Applications of Deep Neural Networks, I'll show you how to apply these neural networks to everyday problems. I teach everything in this course with Jupyter Notebooks and Python. Jupyter allows you to look at your code intermixed with information from my book on Keras and Deep Learning. When you run the code, you see the actual results from your program as you run them. All of the code and text for this course is contained in this book, Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Keras. The PDF of this book is always free. However, I greatly appreciate your support if you purchase the Kindle or paperback. I ensure that everything is compatible with Google Colab so that you can run it with a free GPU if needed. Believe me, the GPU can save you hours and hours on your training times. The GAN is one type of neural network that we'll look at in this course. GAN stands for Generative Adversarial Neural Network. I typically use GANs to generate faces. However, they can create any type of fake data. A GAN works by having two neural networks. The first neural network is the generator. It essentially takes random numbers and generates data or faces. The second neural network is the discriminator. It essentially tells if the generator produced something fake or not. These two go back and forth and wage an adversarial war. Once the algorithm completes, you have a generator that can take lots of random numbers and keeps generating realistic looking data, or in this case, faces. We also look at reinforcement learning, which can implement with deep learning. Deep reinforcement learning is a powerful technique that allowed Google Alpha Go Zero to master the game of Go in only eight hours, gaining the ability to beat top computer and human players. In this course, we'll take a look at Atari video games using the AI gem and create reinforcement programs that can learn to play these games by looking at the actual screen of what's going on of the real video game. Reinforcement learning is fundamentally like training your pet. You provide rewards to the neural network for performing a good job or doing something that leads to a favorable outcome. Hickory, lay down. Good boy, Hickory. Neural networks are also very good at generating supplemental messages. Okay, sorry, I had to try. Transformers are revolutionizing the world of natural language processing. No, not these transformers. Neural network transformers can accept variable link text and usually also output variable link text. They can learn examples from actual language. No more trying to codify complex and inconsistent grammar rules. We'll use the Hugging Face Transformers to perform a variety of NLP tasks. YOLO, you only look once. This algorithm is an amazing technology that you can see running all around me. It's classifying multiple objects and doing it very effectively because it only needs to look once. We'll see how it can transfer this technology into your Python program, and you'll receive the actual coordinates and classifications of what is happening around you. YOLO can be fooled. In this case, it can't tell the difference between my dog and a stuffed animal that looks very much like my dog. Now who's a good boy? But wait, there's more. This video was only able to show you a few highlights from the course. There's, here's a complete list of some of the other topics that we'll cover in this course. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about this course, leave something in the comments. All the information is available in the playlist and on GitHub. Please subscribe to this channel and you'll be updated whenever I add a new video to this course.